What's going on, Becky Mon? This is your Pinoy boy, Mikey Bustos again, bringing you another tutorial. This time about Pinoy English. The Philippines is considered the second best English-speaking country in Asia, next to India. That is why there are a lot of successful Pinoys in North America and other English-speaking countries. We can even adapt other accents. But it must be noted that the Pinoy way of speaking English is a little bit different from the standard North American way. Of course, we have our own way of conveying our thoughts when speaking English. There are certain Pinoy English expressions that are actually direct translations of their Tagalog counterparts. For example, when a Pinoy says, I'll go ahead, the typical North American might say something like, Huh? You'll go ahead where? Actually, I'll go ahead is the Pinoy way of saying, Excuse me, I have to go. It comes from the Tagalog expression, Mauna na ako, mauna na ako, I'll go ahead. Then there's the expression, for a while. You answer the phone, hello. And the person who is calling you is looking for your mother. So you say, for a while. Huh? For a while what? Every North American will not understand this. For a while is simply a translation of the Filipino expression, Sandali, sandali. For a while, sandali, for a while. Here's another one. When you're going to your friend's house to pick up something, you say, ah, okay, I'll pass by your house tonight. If the person you're talking to is a Westerner, he'll most likely say, you'll pass by? Aren't you gonna stop? That's just the Pinoy way of saying, I'll drop by. It's the translation of the Tagalog, dadaan ako. Dadaan ako, I'll pass by. Dadaan ako, I'll pass by. There are many more examples of Pinoy English. We say things like open and close the light. Close, open, close, open. Your shirt is stuck out. And in extreme cases, wow, so blurred. That's just the way Pinoy speak English. I wanted to pass by to pet you, but Edsa was so much traffic, so I texted you for a while long. Say what? If you don't understand, it means you're not Pinoy. The important thing is that we Pinoys understand each other. That's why when Pinoys get together, we talk in our own way and share stories. This is what we call Kwentuhan. And as we all know, Kwentuhan is not complete without good food to share. And for me, Mang Juan snacks are the perfect companion for good old-fashioned Pinoy Kwentuhan sessions. Because it's as traditionally Pinoy as the expressions we are known for. Chicharon ni Mang Juan in three delicious flavors. Sukang paumbong. Sukat sili. And sisig. Shingaling ni Mang Juan in asinti ilocos. And adobo flavor. And cornix ni Mang Juan in garlic flavor. All packed with the great Pinoy taste of chicharon, shingaling, and cornix. After all, good taste is a language that all Pinoys understands. Not just Pinoys, man. I gotta have some of that. <laughs>